Loneliness is a universal human experience that transcends time and place. It can have a profound impact on our lives, and Stoicism, rooted in ancient philosophy, offers valuable insights into managing and even embracing loneliness as an opportunity for self-improvement and growth. Stoicism's approach to loneliness begins with the recognition that we are inherently social beings. However, the Stoics also understood the significance of solitude. They believed that in moments of introspection and self-reflection, we gain insight into the power of our judgments and the interpretations that shape our emotions. Epictetus wisely noted that our anxieties often arise from our own perceptions rather than external circumstances. Solitude provides us with a canvas for self-discovery. The Stoics encouraged us to become comfortable in our own company and to cherish the time spent alone as an essential practice. They believe that within ourselves we possess an unexplored universe. By finding joy and solace in our own presence, we reduce our dependence on external validation, laying a solid foundation for emotional well-being. Before delving into strategies for managing loneliness, it's important to distinguish between two forms of loneliness. Healthy loneliness, as acknowledged by the Stoics, emerges from situations such as temporary separation or the genuine need for solitude. It can serve as a period of introspection and personal growth. Stoicism teaches us to accept this form of loneliness as a natural part of life. During moments of healthy loneliness, individuals can practice self-reflection, nurturing their inner strength and resilience. On the other end of the spectrum lies unhealthy loneliness, characterized by persistent feelings of disconnection, isolation, and negative thought patterns. Unhealthy loneliness can lead to emotional distress and, in some cases, harmful behaviors. Stoicism provides practical approaches to address and mitigate unhealthy loneliness, guiding individuals toward personal growth and inner strength. To effectively navigate loneliness, Stoicism emphasizes several core principles. One developing inner strength Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate inner strength and confront life's challenges with courage. When loneliness strikes, acknowledging it as a natural human experience is the first step. Instead of feeling ashamed or helpless, Stoicism empowers us to embrace our loneliness and take proactive steps to address its root causes. By reaching out to loved ones, engaging in joyful activities, and fostering meaningful connections, we regain control over our lives. Two cultivating resilience Stoic resilience is developed through mindfulness and a positive mindset. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, allowing us to observe our emotions with curiosity and compassion. Instead of being overwhelmed by loneliness, Stoicism teaches us to engage with our feelings and thoughts constructively. By shifting our perspective and focusing on the positive aspects of life, we counteract the weight of loneliness and appreciate the meaningful connections we have. Three Acceptance of Solitude Stoicism encourages us to accept solitude as a natural aspect of life. It teaches us that loneliness, even when it feels challenging, can be an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. By valuing our own company and seeking solace in solitude, we become less dependent on external validation and build a resilient foundation for emotional well-being. How to transform loneliness through Stoic practices. Let's delve into practical Stoic practices that can help transform our experience of loneliness into an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. One self-reflection self-reflection is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. During moments of loneliness, the Stoics encourage us to dive deep into our thoughts and emotions, pulling back the layers of the conscious mind to reveal the true essence of our feelings. By asking ourselves questions like, where is this feeling of loneliness rooted? We begin to unravel the sources of our emotional distress. Often, we attribute loneliness to external factors such as a lack of friends, distant family, or not fitting in. However, Stoicism prompts us to consider that the roots of loneliness may be internal, stemming from our judgments, expectations, or perceptions. 
This self-awareness is a crucial step in transforming unhealthy loneliness into an opportunity for personal growth. Two valuing self-company stoicism teaches us to value our own company genuinely. Instead of viewing solitude as a burden, we are encouraged to see it as an opportunity for self-discovery. The Stoics believed that within oneself lies a universe waiting to be explored. By finding joy, solace, and meaning in our own presence, we become less dependent on external validation. This practice aligns with the Stoic idea that it is not external events, but our judgments about them that disturb us. When we enjoy and value our own company, we build a resilient foundation that allows us to weather the storms of loneliness with grace. 3. Prioritizing quality over quantity in relationships in today's hyperconnected world. The quantity of relationships often takes precedence over their quality. Stoicism encourages us to shift our perspective and prioritize depth, sincerity, and authenticity in our relationships. Rather than measuring our worth by the number of connections we possess, Stoicism reminds us that the true essence of companionship lies in profound connections. Reflect on this. Would you prefer a thousand shallow acquaintances, each susceptible to drifting away at the first sign of trouble, or a handful of steadfast, reliable friends who stand by your side through life storms and calm seas alike? Stoicism teaches us to value the latter, the deep, meaningful connections that endure the test of time. In combating loneliness, it is not about having more relationships, but about cherishing the depth and authenticity of the relationships we already have. 4. Embracing nature in the hustle and bustle of modern life, with digital screens dominating our view, it is easy to feel disconnected from the natural world. Stoicism offers a remedy, an invitation to return to nature. The Stoics held a profound respect for the universe and saw themselves as integral parts of its vast, intricate web. By understanding our position in the cosmos, not as isolated entities, but as tiny threads in an expansive tapestry, we can find a sense of belonging that diminishes the sting of loneliness. This cosmic perspective reminds us that even in our most solitary moments, we are never truly alone we are part of something much larger than ourselves. Moreover, while modern interpretations of loneliness often conjure images of physical isolation, the Stoics found great strength in solace and solitude, especially when surrounded by the tranquility of nature. Walking among ancient trees, feeling the rhythm of ocean waves, or gazing up at a star-filled night sky can evoke a profound sense of connection. In these moments, the line between the self and the environment blurs, allowing for a deep communion with the world around us. Nature, with its timeless wisdom and unwavering cycles, serves as a gentle reminder of life's ebb and flow. In embracing the natural world and its silent teachings, we can find both solace and strength, transforming moments of loneliness into opportunities for profound self-reflection and growth. 5. Using loneliness as a catalyst for growth when the shadows of loneliness envelop us. The immediate reaction is often to seek distraction or escape. However, the Stoics, ever pragmatic, saw these moments differently. They viewed loneliness not as a state to escape from, but as a tool, a teacher, much like fire tempers steel. Moments of loneliness, according to Stoicism, can forge us into stronger, more resilient individuals. But how can we use loneliness as a catalyst for growth? By using these moments as catalysts for introspection. In the quiet, when the world's chatter fades, we are presented with a golden opportunity to confront ourselves, to delve deep into our thoughts, beliefs, and desires. It is a time to ask ourselves fundamental questions. Who am I? What do I truly value? What can I learn from this solitude? Furthermore, loneliness can be a powerful motivator for personal development. Instead of seeing it as a prison, Stoicism encourages us to view it as a classroom. Perhaps it is the perfect moment to pick up a new skill, delve into philosophical texts, write 
dream, or simply meditate and breathe. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius wrote, nowhere can a man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. By channeling the energy of loneliness towards self-improvement, we not only grow as individuals, but also prepare ourselves to reconnect with the world in richer, more meaningful ways. 6. Building Resilience Through Adversity in the Face of Loneliness The Stoics do not advise seeking immediate shelter or escape. Instead, they tell us to stand firm, to feel the gusts of loneliness, and to learn from them. To the Stoics, every challenge, including loneliness, is a disguised opportunity and a test of our character. The famous Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, Difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. In this spirit, loneliness is not merely a state of emotional drought. It is an arena, an arena, an arena where we combat our vulnerabilities, face our inner demons, and emerge stronger. Imagine if every time you felt lonely, instead of succumbing to sadness or seeking immediate escape, you asked yourself, what is this teaching me? How can I use this to fortify my spirit? Over time, these moments of loneliness, instead of breaking us down, become the very experiences that build our mental toughness and resilience. The Stoic way does not promise an easy journey. It promises a meaningful one. By seeing loneliness as a test, a kind of Stoic gym for the soul, we transform these trying times into milestones on our journey to a more resilient, more formidable self. In the labyrinth of human emotions, loneliness stands as one of the most challenging yet profoundly transformative experiences. Through the lens of Stoicism, we gain not only a map, but also a guide to navigate these murky waters. Stoicism teaches us that loneliness, whether healthy or unhealthy, is a natural part of the human experience. It can be transformed into a catalyst for personal growth and self-discovery. Remember, it is not the events or circumstances that disturb us, but our judgments about them. Loneliness, as daunting as it may seem, is also a judgment, a perception. By understanding its roots, valuing our own company, forging deeper, more meaningful connections, embracing the vastness of nature, and using loneliness as a catalyst for growth, we can turn this feeling into a powerful force for positive change. As we walk the Stoic path, we are never truly alone, for we walk with the wisdom of the ages guiding us forward. Loneliness, once seen as an adversary, can become a silent companion on our journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It is an invitation to embark on an inner journey like no other, where through self-reflection, we discover the strength to bear life's burdens with grace. Ultimately, it is not what we bear, but how we bear it, that defines us. Stoicism reminds us of our incredible capacity for resilience, urging us to see loneliness not as a curse, but as a crucible, a test of our spirit and a chance to refine and strengthen our character. In the end, loneliness, when navigated with the wisdom of Stoicism, can be transformed into a stepping stone on the path to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. As we embrace our solitude, value our own company, nurture profound connections, and use adversity to build resilience, we discover that loneliness is not our adversary, but a silent companion guiding us toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In the words of the Stoics, it does not matter what you bear, but how you bear it.